Hello everyone, it's your favourite wax blockchain DJs, Lino and Hysteria. Today we are starting an epic journey that's going into the Dungeon DJ Diaries all about castles and FT. So I think, to be honest, you are witnessing history be made here today, guys and girls. 100% right, because Castles is a game all about performing consistently well against the bear market odds. It's all about building wealth and an empire. We're super excited about the dungeon and expansion coming very soon. So we're going to take almost $3,000 worth of items and release an episode each week with a detailed breakdown of our asset value and gameplay choices. So let's get into it. As we said guys we've got almost three thousand dollars worth of nfts for this game all right so we've got a few ranch towns and farms which we've had for a while and we've got these land packs um, so these are king's vault packs they're not to be confused with the peasants and lord packs which only have common uncommon or rare farm ranch or villages these packs are insane and they've got farm ranch village town or city with city being the one below the castle and then we also have some carpenters and lumberjacks so we have in total four carpenters. Now carpenters make fine wood and they make fine wood from lumber, which is generated from a lumberjack. So we have two lumberjacks at, the, at present and you need to go in and actually mint new tokens on them as well. So we'll be doing that throughout the journey. Um, and we've got these two royal barons, arguably the most important NFTs in the game. Uh, these barons allow you to produce land daily, uh, the same as in the peasant to lord pack, you can get a farm, a village or a ranch. Uh, but they require a recharge in royal seals weekly for them to continue to produce those lands and uh, that's why we want as many castles as we can get because castles are going to help you be sustainable and help your growth exponentially right so i can't wait to get into it man so we're just about to open two thousand dollars worth of these um king's vault land packs and the idea is is we want as many castles as possible from opening these packs so let's get into it We're opening our 10 packs now. Uh, we want to get some towns and cities because that's going to be the thing that gets us closest to the castle. Ranch, ranch, farm. Farm, a lot of farms. Right, that was... Was it meant to be? No, that, was, that wasn't the best pack, was it? But we move on and we go to the next one. We've got 10. Good thing we have 10, yeah. Good thing we have 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this. Let's get this done. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Farm, farm. Oh, we're going to have to send Ooh. these packs back and get some new ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want a refund. <laughs> a refund, please, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> So just while we're opening these, uh, we just give a bit of context on Castle. They've been around for a long, long time on Wax. They've been really steady on the Wax blockchain, which is really quite a uh, an oxymoron. Oh, village, very village. nice. What's that? Is that the, is that number four out of five? I think, I think it's uh, I think it's number four actually. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Let's yeah, look. Go. Castle has been around for a long time. They've uh, been doing it really well. Robert and Josh uh, are the main people there, from what I understand. Oh, City, let's go, baby. Let's go, man. Let's go. But yeah, obviously, you know, Village. We, oh, that's a good pack. <laughs> things are getting, things are heating up. Things, things are, are heating up. Let's just here. get these open. Let's get them open. What a time to be alive. Yeah. Oh, cheeky village to start. Cheeky little village. Give me them cities. Give me them cities. Yeah, show me the gold plate. That's baby. a lot of farms. <laughs> that is not what you like to see. I didn't even look at the percentages before we started opening these packs. Nah, uh, they should be 100% castles, really, to be fair. Yeah. That's what the game's called. <laughs> yeah. It's not called Farms NFT Go. Village? Ooh, village, village NFT Go. <laughs> Ranch NFT village. Go. Village! Village! Oi, oi! Oi, oi, that, that wasn't they're that, getting better that, as we that go was, on. That was that was a good one, wasn't it? That was a good one. 
So village when... is uh, village is the rare, effectively. Yeah, when will it be not fun to open packs? I wonder. When will we get more Never. of it? Never. We need another city. We're all, we're all kids at heart, I think. This is this is not this is not a good no. one. Oh, no. that was horrible. NFT Ranch Go doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? No. Three more, <laughs> come on, three more packs. One more city, please. Just what yeah, one more, I'll be happy with one more city. Ooh. Oi, oi. Ooh. Oh Oh Jesus. Oh jeez. Savage. Oh, nasty. Jeez. $200, baby. <laughs> Every time we press the button here, it's another $200. Village, oh. let's go. Village, oh. nice. Branch, branch. That's a bit better. This, this is a better one. We need one more city. Come on, one more city. That was much better. That was better. Okay, last, last little prayer. Final Give one. Give me that city, boy. Us DGens need cities, man. This is DGen Dungeon DGen Diaries. <laughs> City, oh! yeah, <laughs> let's go, baby. Very nice. Nice one to end. Very village, nice one. To end. village, oh, okay. nice. That's all right, we'll pack. take that. We'll take that. All right, let's calculate what we've got and blend it all up. And we've done some of them bigger merges, so we had a hundred farms and about fifty ranches. Um, which we've merged now and uh, we've merged the villages so we've got our towns uh, and you can see here that we've got this option to merge our towns and we get a 4.5% chance of getting a city and a town and a 0.45% chance of getting a city and two towns all right so we're going to complete these merges and then we're going to do the next ones for the cities because the, these uh, cities to castle sorry because these are the ones we can make a good raise on cool so if anyone's wondering you know why are you merging why is it a good idea to have something like towns well as as gary mentioned there um as you go through the different upgrade paths that you actually get a smaller percent chance of getting an item okay so when you do your farm craft you have a quite high chance of getting a free ranch or two free ranches but as you go up to the city and town hall you get a really small chance and the reason for this is because you know you generate m source per hour okay so if you generate an m source per hour a farm is 10 and a ranch is 30 and a village is 90 so it goes up times three at each stage so if you can get a free item like a free town or a free city you're getting an extra 810 metasaurs per hour for free so it's really good idea on the scaling and if we can get something crazy here that'll be a massive boost because so, so before yeah, we, we started we, crafting we, did, we, we didn't get anything so we we crafted our towns we crafted five cities and we didn't get anything extra on that one all right so now oh, we're well. starting we're crafting our cities now so we've got two castles to craft if we get anything extra from this one and that's kind of like an extra hundred dollars but we've only got a one percent chance of getting one extra uh city and a 0.1 percent chance of getting two extra cities so it's gonna be, gonna be Ooh, very low percent let's hope we can get it man two castles all right so we're not we're not gonna complain we got what we set out for <laughs> yeah we got what we, we yeah we got everything we wanted but before we started the crafting we were on 4800 metasaurs per hour and now after we finished all the crafts we're on 6010 per hour now you do have to spend metasaurs tokens but the gaining sort of an extra 20 percent is a massive increase so make sure you're crafting at every opportunity guys yeah and we've also uh, been crafting already from our lumberjacks so We've already crafted the lumber um, from there, so you can see that's exhausted. Um, we've already crafted the fine wood from our carpenters. You can see they've all been exhausted. And we've crafted yep. the, the daily lands from the barons, which just happened to be two farms today. Yeah, so we're here. Uh, we're doing the exalted hero pack crafting. Um, the time is 7 7 p.m. British time, so I'm going to refresh. Hopefully, it's going to come up and allow me to craft it. What? Oh, 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 it's a blend here. It's a blend here. Auto They're select. going quick. 50 have already gone. Oh. Auto select. Oh. 
So we have got our three exalted packs. I think. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, I'm so going to check the inventory. Yeah. Royal seal, so we'll look at our atomic of inventory. Yeah, they're there. So 140. Uh, there They've done already 150. So yeah, they're going very quick. So these packs, they're going to give you two heroes, uh, seven equipment NFTs, uh, and they're the only packs that you can get a rare NFT in. So with the with the standard packs, you have a 70% chance in the common and a 30% chance of an uncommon. With this one, 60 common, 35 uncommon, five rare, um, and that this will give you everything you need for the dungeons expansion, which is pretty exciting. What do you think, Lino? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have options. Obviously, there's 11 different slots on each character. So if we have three characters in our dungeon, we're going to need 33 pieces of equipment. So we're going to need to get 12 from elsewhere. But it's a great little starting point. Nearly 50% of them have already gone in the first minute, which is a testament to how good Castles is. Yeah, uh, you know, these are not cheap packs. You know, the fragments, um, you know, they're going to set you back about $170, $180 per pack. Uh, taking into account all the materials uh, but the good thing is um, although the dungeons expansion isn't coming until fall this year uh, they're going to start releasing it in sections and, and in the meantime these packs are going to be dropping us wealth nfts which are going to be transferable for some kind of currency we can use to improve our experience and our earning potential within the dungeons so all the while we're holding these packs uh, we're going to be generating generating something from that so you know credit to yeah, cred credit to castles because uh, i think rob's thought of everything this one yeah I'm glad we have the exalted packs oh we yeah, went for the big boy packs yeah best way to do it i think these, and i think I the opening by the way is going to be in three to four weeks is what rob just said in the discord so yeah you know three or four weeks of sort of passive income until the rewards come out you know a lot of other projects they would just sort of leave it and let the project gather a bit of dust so it's quite nice to see the rewards coming in, yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, I'm not sure exactly how much there's going to be to do on castles because the nice thing about it is that it's a very passive game. Uh, so you only need to compress some buttons once a day. You know, it's not time intensive. Uh, but I guess with the dungeons, things are going to be a little bit different because each one of your characters has 30 attempts, I believe, every day uh, to go in. And try and get something and obviously they're going to require recharging using the using the other currencies and um, there's going to be as you said 11 slots you're going to be able to upgrade your character and the only way you can get an epic legendary or mythic character is by upgrading them by using them in the game which is super rare like usually that's just like you need to get super lucky or you need to just be a whale and go buy an atomic gun it's the first it's the first I've heard that you can't just get those kind of NFTs out of the packs and you have to you have to play the game and get there yourself. Yeah, it's crazy. I just saw the Discord, someone it looks like they just bought eight it crafted eighteen of those packs. So <laughs> Yeah. You know, <laughs> real big players in castles right yeah. now. Yeah. Us move us moving like guppies, or like three three thousand dollars in and we're not even on the top one hundred leaderboard, you know. So that goes to show you the <laughs> the level of trust and the level of value that people are putting in this project. So you know, more from us in, in the coming weeks is going to be uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, we'll you know show you the progress and what we've been able to accumulate using the items that you've seen today. Uh, there's going to be um, an update for the castles game. You're going to be able to open the packs uh, a couple of weeks after that, and you're going to be able to do some customization to your characters. So there's not only going to be uh, equipment slots. There's going to be um, aesthetic customization options as well. Uh, and we'll have a look yep. at those uh, and obviously the wealth NFTs that we've been getting dropped in the meantime for having these packs. But yeah, that's all from us. So see you next time. Adios.